everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Passion of Makeup. Today we're going to be doing a, um, a random color generator, um, video. So basically, I have a color generator here, um, that I can just hit generate color and it will switch colors. So, foundation, concealer, contour, all of that will be different colors. Either green, red, this purple, or any other color. So let's go. Okay, so I got all my makeup out just in one little, I don't know what to call it, case. And then I have my palette, my James Charles palette that will be using all the colors. I also have my color fusion palette that will also be helping us to make the colors. So I'm basically going to see if mixing foundation with a color will work on like, I don't know, like this thing, we'll just mix them on there. Or if that doesn't work, then I'll just put foundation on and then cover it with color. I don't know. But now we're going to pick a color for foundation. I'm really scared because if this doesn't go good, then yeah. I actually got a good color. I got this for foundation. I'm not even joking. I actually did. Um, okay. They're kind of similar. Like my actual foundation color and this is almost similar. But we're going to have to add a bit more white, so I'm going to put my foundation on, and then I'm going to add white and just blend that. First, I got to get this blend. Okay, now we're just going to put this on. Okay, so here's my base down, and I'm going to add a bit more white because they aren't exactly the same color. Okay, so I just dipped into the um, white in the Jam Straw Spot, and I put it on the beauty blender, and I'm just going to put it on my face to make it a bit lighter. Okay, this is the lightest I can get it, but I think it looks pretty good. Now we're gonna pick the um, concealer color. Oh, mmm, okay, this is where it all went downhill. So we're just going to put normal concealer on right now, and then we're gonna put blue on it, and um, that's how it's gonna turn blue. So it's like a creamy texture still, but it's still blue. Okay, so it's like a darker blue, so we're gonna go in with this color just to go over the concealer. I don't know if this will work, but, oh, it does work. And then we'll blend it out. Oh God, my chin is not blue. It looks like I have a blue beard. Now we're going to do that to every single place in my face that has concealer. Now we're going to blend this out. That worked, but mm, it backfired already. Now contour. Yellow. Oh gosh. We're going to use this color because that's almost the exact color. So we're just going to go in with this i actually don't have a contour right now so i'm just doing the yellow and i'm not going to blend it out because it's pretty light and we just don't want to be able to see it but yeah it's fine so now this is how my face looks first of all yellow and blue i look like a minion no joke Next color. This is going to be for my powder. Oh my gosh! Like this raspberry pink, it's a pretty color, but for powder, oh my gosh! Uh, I don't know what color I have closest to that. Uh, I think. This one is the closest color I have. It's it's a bit darker, but it'll work. Oh God, oh my gosh. Oh, I didn't put that much on. Oh my gosh. This is, it's all ruined. Well, it was ruined when I had blue, but. this 
Oh my gosh. I usually don't blend it out, but I'm gonna blend it out just because you can't really see any other color. Well, this is what it looks like so far. And now, oh my god, I have a blue unibrow. Um, anyways, now we're gonna do blush, and it already looks like I have blush on, but let's see if I get a different color for blush. So, um, it's a pretty color, but not for blush. Okay, let's see if I have a type of color like that here. Let me check my other palette. Okay, so this is the closest color I have, so we're just going to use that. Okay, this is not, oh my gosh. Okay, this is what it looks like. It matches, it matches the concealer pretty well. Uh, so I put some on my forehead and I put some on my nose. And now I look like I'm a blueberry. Okay, now a uh, highlighter. Ugh, what is this? Mustard? I can just put mustard on my face. And I found the color right there. It's not the exact color, but yeah, I, I think it will work. Okay, now we have highlighter. That's a nice, that's, that's nice to add to the pink, yes. Some light must, some light ketchup with some mustard. Chef's kiss, this is really bad. Next is going to be eyeshadow. We're gonna have three colors. One, two, and then under the eye for three colors for eyeshadow. So number one is going to be in my crease right there. Well, in my, my corner of the eye. Uh, not that bad. It will match my powder. Okay. Okay, I found the exact replica. Right here. Um, first right here. Exactly. Perfect. This, this, this salt. Okay, here's what it looks like so far. Yeah, second abo. What do I look like? Unicorn zombie. Nice. Next color for my eyeball, I mean my eyelid, is this color. I mean, that color doesn't look that bad together, so yeah. So I couldn't find it in my James Charles palette, so I checked this one, and actually that's a really close to it. Just like a bit darker, but that's okay. Blendy, blendy. Blendy, blendy. Okay, this color is going to go under my eyeball. This one! Like an... Ugh. This is the color we're going to be using. It's in my eyeball. <laughs> Under my eye is not done. <sighs> I'm seeing two of me. Okay, we're good. This is what it looks like without my ring light on. Last but not least, what is the color for my lips? Let's see. Let's see, let's see. It's like blue, oh, fun, fun. It'll match with this, I don't know what's going on here. This color, this one, matches perfectly with this one. You see it, the resemblance, mm, delicious. And lips are done. This is the makeup look. Yeah, I didn't enjoy it, but I hope you did. Um, if you did, could you please consider liking this video and maybe subscribing? Also, go follow my TikTok, Passion of Makeup. Um, I do looks like this, but they're a bit shorter. So yeah, thank you. Bye.